Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are making not one, but two cocktails. One is called Between the Sheets, which is rather risque, especially 100 years ago when this drink was created. And the other is called the Embassy Cocktail, which is a very, uh, a very proper name, a serious name. But the drinks are so similar. And they're essentially two variations on the same drink. That being the sidecar. The sidecar is also a variation on the Brandy Crusta. So there's a through line with a lot of cocktails. So I thought, why not we, well, let's just make them together and we'll compare them. I'll show you how I make them. And they're both really tasty. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the between the sheets and the embassy cocktail to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Cook Unity. Cook Unity delivers restaurant quality meals right to your doorstep and my doorstep. I know it looks like I just stand around drinking cocktails all the time, but I'm actually running a business, believe it or not. And I'm constantly going back and forth from the studio to home, plus I'm walking the dog, I'm doing laundry, all kinds of stuff. I got to change the stickers on my car. That's long overdue. So I don't always have time to cook myself a nice meal. But with Cook Unity, it's easy. And what I really like about Cook Unity is it is visibly fresh. It's as if a professional chef came into my kitchen, cooked me a home cooked meal, and then left it in the fridge. It's fresh, it's never frozen. You can either bake it in the oven or pop it in the microwave. I was catching up with an old friend over lunch and I was enjoying the white vegetable lasagna created by chef John DeLucci. And let me tell you, it was delicious. Thank you, Chef DeLucci. My friend has different dietary preferences than me, and you probably do too, but that's okay because Cook Unity has vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options, and the menus are constantly changing. See, they partner with a number of award-winning chefs. There's hundreds of signature dishes to choose from. It's easy to skip weeks, pause, or cancel at any time. So to get started, head to cookunity.com slash Anders, or click on the link down below and use code Anders50 at checkout for 50% off your first order and enjoy good fresh food. Thank you, Cook Unity, onto the film. Before we dive in, let's talk quickly about each cocktail. First, the Between the Sheets, a very provocative name, especially 100 years ago. It's believed that this drink was created in the 1920s. Now, there are a couple different origin stories, but the most reputable is that it was created by Harry Macalone at Harry's New York Bar in Paris, France far from New York. There isn't a whole lot of story to tell about the drink. The most fascinating thing about it is the name. It's essentially a sidecar with the base of cognac being split with rum. Now the thing about the drink is early recipes had much less lemon juice, just like a, a bar spoon or a dash of lemon juice. So I don't know that he was trying to make a variation on the sidecar, but that's what it's become. He created a number of other classic cocktails like the Old Pal, the White Lady. He was no lightweight. All right, he, he, was, he was a force in the cocktail world even back then. So that brings us to the Embassy Cocktail, which is also kind of a riff on the sidecar with the base spirit of cognac being split with rum, again. Now, the Embassy Cocktail came later. The earliest we can say it was created would be 1930. It was named after the Embassy Club, which opened in 1930, so that gives us kind of an idea when this was created. We don't know who came up with the drink, but the Embassy Club was owned by a man named Adolf Brandstatter. This guy was friends with all the celebrities and the Embassy Club was an exclusive club for his friends, the celebrities. Eventually he opened it up to the public and the celebrities went away and then the public went away. So he had to close the doors. If you've been watching these videos for a long time, that story might sound familiar. And that's because we went over this story in the Satan's Whiskers video, uh, which we actually talked more about the story. So if you wanna go more in depth, check out that video after you watch this one. Now, the difference between the two recipes is subtle. Uh, they, one calls for lime, one calls for lemon. It depends on which rum you wanna use and one has bitters in it. However, I think some people switch them around and may make what I think of as an embassy cocktail as they're between the sheets and vice versa. There's also another cocktail called the Boston Sidecar, which is the same idea. I'm not gonna go into that one. We're just gonna talk about these two. However, it goes to show that there's a lot of overlap when it comes to cocktails. And over the years, you can have two or three drinks that are essentially the same thing that go by different names. Maybe they know about the other cocktail, maybe they don't. And over time, other bartenders will 
tweak and change your cocktail. So you can't really be too attached to your recipe if you want other people to make it. And they're both really good. I don't know that I prefer one over the other, but I do approach each cocktail differently. I can't wait to show you, but I need the bottles in front of me. So now the booze. All right, so here we are. For both of these cocktails, we're gonna want cognac. This is the common denominator. Now for the between the sheets, we'll need a lightly aged rum. And for the embassy cocktail, we will need a Jamaican rum. So we have two different styles of rum. This is what kind of takes the two cocktails in different directions. The lightly aged is a little bit lighter. The Jamaican has a little bit stronger flavor. So it's gonna be a little bit heavier. Both cocktails call for an orange liqueur. Now I am, as you can see, I'm using two different orange liqueurs in the two cocktails. And I do always say you should use whatever bottles you want. And that's true, but that's not to say I pick bottles willy nilly. I am specific about the bottles and in some cases the brands that I use because of their specific flavor profile. Now, in this case, over here, we've got the between the sheets. Most recipes call for a triple sec, which is another orange liqueur. But personally, I like this dry curacao in the drink. We're not adding any extra sugar and it holds up to the citrus really well. Now, in the embassy cocktail, I'm using this curacao, which is Marie Broussard, which tends to be a little bit sweeter and richer. And this one holds up really well to the big Jamaican rum. So that's why I chose this curacao for this drink. That's not to say I couldn't switch these curacaos around, or if you only had one bottle of curacao, you couldn't use it in both drinks. However, from my experience in making both these cocktails a number of times, I know that I like these specific bottles in these cocktails. So you figure out what you like best in your drinks. Now, both cocktails have citrus in them. The between the sheets calls for fresh lemon juice and the embassy cocktail calls for fresh lime juice. And finally, the embassy cocktail also calls for Angostura bitters, which is really nice in this cocktail because it offsets the rich flavors. I know, I know that was a lot of info I just threw at you, but I trust that all of you kept up. As always, check out my collection on Curiata. All of these are available and we're updating that collection all the time. So you can do these experiments yourself. Let's build. Let's start with, well, first of all, both of these cocktails are gonna be served up. So get your glassware chilled. Let's start with the between the sheets. We're gonna start with the, I keep saying we're gonna start with, but we're starting now. We're gonna start with the cognac. Three quarters of an ounce of cognac. It would make sense workflow to also put it in the other shaking tin, but I'm doing these one at a time for you. And we're gonna move on to the rum. Three quarters of an ounce of your lightly aged rum, one ounce, of orange curacao. This is the dry curacao. And half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. So this is actually how I make my sidecars as well. Let that chill out and now we can move over to the embassy cocktail. Go back to the cognac. Just as before, three quarters of an ounce of the cognac. Three quarters of an ounce of Jamaican rum. One ounce of orange curacao. Half an ounce of fresh lime juice. And two dashes of Angostura bitters. I've got the smaller dasher bottle, so I'm gonna do four. Now, we can add ice and shake. Give these a shake about 10 to 15 seconds or so. Grab your chilled glassware and double strain into your cocktail glass. So between the sheets, and here is the embassy cocktail. Now, we can garnish them. So, uh, the embassy cocktail we're gonna have the spicy bitters, Jamaican rum, so I'm less concerned about the nose, whereas the between the sheets is a little bit lighter and I want to accentuate the lemon to keep it really bright. So I'm gonna express some lemon oil across the top. Try your best to make it look pretty. I haven't done that one in a while. Oldie but a goodie. Uh, and then, what is this thing called? For the embassy cocktail, I'm just gonna do a lime wheel. Let's put that right on the edge. It's a big lime wheel. There it is. The between the sheets, and the embassy cocktail. Cheers. Oz, would you care to have a sip of these? Sure. Oh. All right. All right, welcome. Hello, thank you. Welcome, Wait, Oz, to the Anders Ericsson Show. It's actually your show, too. Uh, well, I prefer to be behind the camera normally, but here I am. I'm gonna try the between the sheets. And I'm gonna try the embassy cocktail. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Swap. It's different. They are different. The slime wheel is kind of large, It's kind of in man. your face. It's like hitting me in the face. Yeah, I know. Yes, they are different. They're, they are very similar as well. I like them both. They both give me sidecar vibes. The between the sheets, I get the lemon on the nose. It's a bit brighter. The, I keep forgetting the names of these. And the embassy cocktail, <laughs> embassy cocktail. has a little bit more spice and just bolder flavor. This is why I say it's, it's two 
kind of different expressions of the same drink, in my opinion. I am just nerding out on this. That's fun for you, that, though, that, right? That that's is actually, fun. It's fun that's, for that's him. That's fun for me. All of this, all of this balancing and and what's better than the other, like th that's all subjective. Yeah. And I want all of you to form your own opinions on these things. All right, so there we are, end of the film. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button and then see what happens. Nothing. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you Cook Unity for sponsoring. Thank you for watching, as always. Don't forget your merch. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Goodbye. Freaky up. Yeah. And that lime is ridiculous. It's so big. Can you do the sound? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you got you got to go away from the camera. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>